Ah, yes, such a beautiful day in Bricksville. The birds are chirping, everybody's on their busy morning commute. Everything is just perfect in the city today, and nothing's gonna spoil that. Except maybe a bob in red up here. It has been a while, and I think it's time for a little bit of destruction with Burnout Bob. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs, and today marks the return of Burnout Bob. Yes, he's back, and he's feeling a little bit more toasty than ever, because folks, we have a pretty cool scenario set up here today. So, we're doing another bridge one, but this is probably one of our largest ones yet, because we are in the experimental branch, which has the optimizations. So you see a perfect bridge up here. Don't ask me why it doesn't have an end or a start. It's just the way they build stuff in Bricksville. So yeah, you can run through here. You can see city buses, tankers, police cars. Pretty busy up here. And then once you go below this thing, we have even more tankers. We have buildings set up, including houses on each side. We have bobs in the streets. We got more houses. And we do have vehicles down here plus all the stuff that's around here, and the train should be running through this area too. So it's finally time for some more destruction here in Brick Rigs. If you guys have any suggestions for scenarios, comment below, and if you're enjoying Burnout Bob on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button, it helps out my channel, and let's do this. So you can see Burnout Bob has borrowed a jet from the military. This thing is completely loaded down, and it is ready to go. He's just gotta figure out how to fly it. Which I'm pretty sure we can... Yeah, yeah, no, we got this. Uh, we should probably use the runway. You know, we don't need no runway. Look at that. That is beautiful. Alright, let's go ahead and head over to our target site. Alright, Burnout Bob is currently searching for his target. That looks like it right there. We're not gonna actually shoot the, uh, the missiles and stuff. Oh, we're Tokyo drifting in right now. Come on. Uh oh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Okay. That was, uh... That's the ground. That was not the hit that Burnout Bob was looking for. Where did the... Wait. Where'd the jet go? How did it blow up this way? Uh, okay, I'm seeing some stuff in the air. Okay, uh... I'm gonna say attempt number one wasn't quite successful. Maybe we need to get a little bit closer there. Alright, this one's looking a wee bit better. Let's go ahead and slow down time here. Okay, pull up. Uh, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, yes. I think we should be able to trigger the crash this way. Oh, I'm aiming for that tanker. Oh, here it goes. Yes. Oh. Oh, the tanker. Wait, the tanker didn't fully explode, but look at that. Oh, how I've missed the slow-mo glory of these crashes. Oh, that is cool looking. Okay, give it a second. Dude, the police car actually landed on the house back there. That was awesome. All right, full speed. Oop, okay, we just had a secondary explosion. Now the bridge is on fire. Now that fire is going to spread here, but question is, is it going to reach this trigger here? It's amazing that thing didn't explode. Holy man, look at the destruction here. The house is on fire. <laughs> well, hope nobody was in that thing. So yeah, that's on fire. The bridge took a pretty big hit here. All right, here we go. Hit number two. Trying to pull up and pull to the left here. Okay, I think we got it. Uh, oh, yes, there it is. Holy man. Okay, that was the hit I was looking for. Oh man, that two-story house just got scalped. Okay. Yep, that definitely set it off. Look at the city bus there. Uh, there was buildings. Oh, we didn't actually destroy the parking garage, which is pretty surprising. Uh, let's see if we get another explosion. Right, let's go full speed. That is looking pretty toasty there. Hold on, let's go under here. Check out the bobs. Look at the destruction. Uh, we flung that cop car off. There have been bobs that have been crushed by uh, debris. I'll go over here. Man, it completely scalped that house. Could you imagine being on the inside? Would anybody have made it here? Oh, look at the destruction on the inside. Oh, that's cool looking. 
So you got this. There's fire. The train should be coming by here in a second. It's got a little bit of debris. Oh, the train's actually going to knock out the support pillar on the bridge. Is that enough? No, I don't think it's enough to knock it over. Oh boy, how I've missed doing these episodes. Here it comes. Boom! Took out the pillar. Wasn't enough to knock over the bridge because it's got some pillars here on the end. Oh! What was that explosion? Oh! The, uh, the debris on the front of the train actually blew up the fuel tank down here. Alright. That was a pretty good hit. I mean, we're, there's still technically a house up here that's standing. So, Burnout Bob feels the need to eliminate it, too. So maybe we'll just run a plane into this house. Alright, Burnout Bob's looking for his target. Looking pretty toasty here. Yes! <laughs> oh, we just got the house. We, uh, we just drilled it. <laughs> Look at the plane pieces plastered against it. Uh-oh. Oh, the debris off all of this actually flung into the parking garage. Dude, that was cool. That was it. Wait, what just exploded over here? So, I think the rest of the bridge just literally imploded. What? Look at that. The bridge is collapsing. Well, this might have been the most satisfying opening I've ever had here. Uh, <laughs> we have leveled. We leveled a huge chunk of Bricksville with that one. Look at the bridge. That is cool looking. There comes the train. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Would you look at that? There's one last thing that we need to detonate real quick. By the way, the house did a really good job, except for the fact that the inside's on fire. Like, we plastered a plane into the side of it, and that's actually a piece of the plane right there. It held up really good. But, you know what? We gotta finish off this scene here, so let's just go ahead and go... Yep. And... Wait, what? Oh, there it goes! <laughs> I'm about to say, uh, they didn't go off. All right, well, I think it's time to move on to the next scenario, as epic as this one was. All right, so for our next scenario, the police are after Burnout Bob here, and they've set up a bit of a roadblock. Now, let's go ahead and be honest with ourselves. The Bricksville police are not exactly the smartest bunch, so you can see they let the onlookers stand right behind it, and there is a Toyato Fasto gas station right behind this which by the way it is fuel delivery day so you can see it's tanks in the back and the two tankers on the street so i had a couple ideas for this particular crash here we're gonna hit it with something called the chad mobile this is by batteries i think this is supposed to be a pretty extreme little vehicle that we're gonna be testing out so by the way it's got a i guess strobes and this thing has nitrous Yes, the Chad Mobile has some nitrous, and boy, is it strong. So, there was two different scenarios I was thinking of here. I was potentially going to use these. Now, if you're asking what these are, these are basically explosive spike strips. So, if I were to go up to them, oh, it's going slow mo here. All right, and check this out. And boom! They're fantastic, but the problem is, I think it's going to stop Bob immediately, which, by the way, you can see the NOS tanks in there. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, so I don't think that's going to work for this particular crash. So I think we should just go in there, which it's really convenient. This thing says, ouch. But yeah, we're just going to go in there with the nitrous kicked in and not hit the spike strip. Now, do tune in soon. We do use these spike strips in police chases in multiplayer. Uh, I think that episode will be coming out in a couple days. Alright, so the Chad Mobile is going to start back here. I don't know if this thing's got enough punch. We might have to add a ramp to this. Uh, let's go ahead and go back here. I'm going to turn them strobes on. Turn that party music up. Alright, here we go. Chad Mobile is coming in. Wait till we got a straight shot here. There we go. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no. I am moving extremely fast. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, the poor bobs. Oh, <laughs> Oh, he's going to hit the back tanks. Uh-oh. I don't think there was enough bob left there to explode those back tanks. What the heck did I hit that was explosive up here? That looked amazing. Dude, look at the bobs flying through the air. You got that. There's one of the tanks. Oh, there's the Chad Mobile. It's going to hit another gas station, actually. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's go ahead. Oh, look at the destruction there. I think Bob's okay. Oh, let's go back here. Fast forward, okay. Oh! <laughs> well, you know, I was saying, hey, those tanks didn't go off. They went off. It was just a little bit of a delayed explosion. 
Wow. I don't think I've ever had such a solid crash on the first attempt there. That was, uh, that was something. Okay, let's survey the damage. Uh, of course, the gas station has been leveled, but would you look at that? Some of the goods are still on the shelf and ready to be sold, except for some of it's uh, a little crispy, but maybe you'll get a little discount there. The group of Bob's the onlookers have been completely charred or exploded. The cop cars, for the most part, except for this one, got away. This one caught on fire. There's Bob's all over the place. What is this down here? What the heck? Oh, that was a part of one of the diesels. Yeah, you can see the little side tanks there. So you've got that. We leveled a building behind it. There's debris all over the cars here. There was a city bus. Oh, look at that. The city bus got speared by pieces of the gas station. Uh, but for the most part, you know, people will probably be okay back there. So you've got that. Uh, this uh, yellow car has been made a convertible now. And for the most part, that was that was satisfying. That was a good one. Holy man. Look at this. The Mini made it out just fine. Now, as far as uh, burnout, um, okay. Wait. How? How did he end up here? What the heck? Okay, he's here. The crash site is here. Okay, there's pieces of the Chadmobile all up and down. Oh, there's the body of the Chadmobile. How far did the pieces reach? Look at this. Okay, a piece managed to get way, actually, way out here. That is some distance there. I always kind of look for the furthest pieces to see kind of how bad the explosion was. That was a, that was impressive. That was definitely a good one. All right, so Burnout Bob has the ultimate plot for destruction. So I have a creation that I was actually saving for this return of Burnout Bob. So as you can see, we have towers in the city. Uh, we've set out some new houses. This is actually a really cool beach house uh, by Marty. I don't think we've actually really checked this one out before yet. Uh, it looks like it's a pretty complete house for uh, Burnout Bob to completely destroy. Hold on, is there anything in the shed back here? Wait, this looks like a... Actually, I don't think I'm supposed to be in this thing. So yeah, you've got that. You've got other houses here. You've got the uh, another XFS tower here. And uh, I've got a creation here. And I don't know what this is going to do. This is going to be the largest explosive. And it's a carpet bomb or a carpet nuke. Now, we've played with MMB's carpet nukes before. But they've all been, I think, right around 3,500 bricks. Well, this is the carpet nuke to end all carpet nukes. And this promises to potentially annihilate the whole city, which I think that's ultimately Burnout Bob's ultimate goal, besides just crashes, which we'll get to creating more crashes soon. So yeah, this thing is 7,500 parts, and it says we can destroy the whole city with two drops. Holy man, this is gonna be bad. Okay, I'm gonna try to spawn it. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be bad. Okay, so how does this thing spawn in? Does it stretch one way or the other? Oh, okay, got it. Got it, 10-4, I know how to spawn this now. So we wanna spawn it in for maximum destruction here. All right, we wanna go like that, or do we wanna turn it? Uh-oh, 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 it's doing, oh, it's doing stuff right now. Hold on, I think we wanna turn it. We wanna turn it this way. Oh, there it goes. This is gonna be it. Wait, so I think the towers literally just saved those houses. Look at that. Yeah, the whole fact that it hit the towers first, it actually eliminated those. Hold on, we need to drop this again. This is like the ultimate destruction device. Okay, let's go down here. You know what, we're gonna, we're gonna stand down here. So let's go, well, do, 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 do. let's get down here. Bob's just gonna stand in the streets and watch this happen. Uh, Burnout Bob likes to watch the world burn, oh geez. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, look at that! Uh, there it goes! <laughs> oh, this is a uh, burnout Bob destroying literally the whole city. <laughs> okay, uh, let's keep dropping them. There we go, we're gonna go this way. So yeah, we will be doing some more car crashes and stuff like that. That's typically what Burnout Bob's all about, is like big destructive car crashes. But I figured you guys would really love to see that. 
Too bad we couldn't spawn this thing in multiplayer. Could you imagine nuke survival with a 7,500 brick uh, nuke? That would be insane. This uh, makes Burnout Bob feel all warm and fuzzy, which not much does that. Here it goes, and it's going to slap down. Yeah, this thing's most efficient when it can all kind of almost make contact at the same time, so, like, not catching the really big buildings. So let's try one. Let's try one here. I think those towers are smushed down enough that it might actually affect the houses a bit more. Yeah, look at this. It's just going to travel up the street here. Uh, there's not much left of Bricksville, and... Yes! Oh, they got the houses that time. Ooh. Okay, that one house is sliding. <laughs> Comes another hit. Yeah, if you angle this right, you could probably definitely destroy the city in like two hits. You just gotta angle the thing completely right. Look at that. The tower saved all the houses below this. Uh, uh we got one more, one more hit here. Oh, there we go. I was looking for the big tower hit. So, Bricksville is pretty much completely eliminated. Now, look at this. The Marty house. Oh, it's starting to lag like crazy now. The Marty house held up pretty well. The city bus is still here. And this house is relatively uh, undamaged. Yeah, there's a little bit of stuff on the inside that's broken. Not too much. Could you imagine what the insurance policies are like in Bricksville? They're probably insane. Well, I think uh, Burnout Bob did his job here. Like I said, if you guys have any suggestions for future episodes of this, uh, it could be any crazy scenario that you can think of. Comment below. I'll pick out the top ones for the next episode. But I do want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the Burnout Bob series, and we will see you guys next time.